Houston Police Department announced on Friday night that an investigation has been launched into Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson, a criminal complaint filed, no names released. And this comes only days after attorney Tony Busby, who represents 21 of the individuals who have sued Deshaun Watson, said he wasn't going to share evidence with the Houston Police Department, citing biases relating both to him and to Rusty Harden, who represents Deshaun Watson. Harden, for his part, issued a statement saying, we welcome this long overdue development. There's the statement from Houston police that popped up late Friday afternoon, early Friday evening. No further comment, but they do comment on the fact that the investigation has been sparked. There's Harden's statement. We welcome this long overdue development. Now we will learn the identity of at least one accuser. We will fully cooperate with the Houston police department. Now we will fully cooperate to me. Chris means that if they want to talk to Deshaun Watson, he's going to show up and talk. He'll wave his fifth amendment, right? against self-incrimination and answer questions. And we don't know what will happen with that process. And again, the bar is much higher in criminal courts beyond a reasonable doubt. That is the standard that must be met. And prosecutors have very broad discretion when it comes to who gets charged, who doesn't get charged. A lot of prosecutors won't pursue a case that they think they may lose. They don't like to lose. Others will pursue a case just to make a statement, even if they know it's going to be difficult to get a conviction. And when it comes down to it, if the complaining party tells a very compelling story that doesn't have a lot of holes, and if the thought is Deshaun Watson, when it comes down to it, won't get on the witness stand and subject himself to withering cross-examination at trial, which many criminal defendants, most criminal defendants, will not do that. Maybe they decide to roll the dice. I don't know, and I'm not going to pretend to know. And I think the truth is no one knows where this is going to go. But it changes things. The fact that someone has filed a criminal complaint against Deshaun Watson changes things. Because as these civil lawsuits were piling up over the last three weeks, Chris, one of the things that people reacting to this were saying was, why didn't anybody go to the cops? Well, now someone did. So why, to a well, so let me extent, ask you this. That, that argument's off the table. Well, now. yeah, why why now? Why does someone go to it now? I mean, just what's your thought there for, for- We don't know enough. We don't okay. know enough to speculate on yeah, that. Right. Is it is it one of the 21 looking to bolster yeah. her case? Right. Or or is it somebody else who hasn't sued who just has decided, you know what? I'll go this way. I'm more comfortable now. I wasn't comfortable before. This is a very difficult personal challenging sensitive topic yeah and a lot of people who do believe that they've been violated in some way in this type of a context won't do anything about it could it be and we again we don't know could it be that someone who feels that all of these other individuals are doing something i'm going to do something and i'm not going to file a lawsuit i don't care about that it really isn't about the money for me it's about justice and i'm going to choose to pursue my justice by filing a criminal complaint. We don't know at this point whether it's one of the 21 yeah. or whether it's somebody else. If it's somebody else, I think that on the surface, just knowing that, if we ever do know that, if it's not one of the ones who have sued and if it's somebody who never sues, that instantly carries you think a I, different level of credibility yeah, in the eyes say. of most people, I would say. Okay, you 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 think that's more dam- damning to, to Deshaun Watson if you got somebody like that? I think at a very superficial level, yeah. without knowing any of the facts, without having a chance to investigate or hear what the person's story is or where the, the gaps may be or the weaknesses may be, or ha- just the fact that somebody who chooses not to sue at a time when the train is rolling with 21 cars on it to not add car 22, but instead go to the Houston Police Department and file a criminal complaint. If, if that's the case, we just don't know. Yeah. We don't know. But it, but it would be odd. To say the least, if one of the 21 represented by Tony Busby, just days after Busby says, I'm not giving anything to the Houston Police Department because they have some sort of a bias against me and maybe a bias in favor of Rusty Harden, who represents Watson, that one of those 21 would break ranks. And Busby's been silent all weekend. Yeah, right. So if, if this was something where he had to change a heart, he would have said something. I would think based upon his past past history. But I, I just that to me is the biggest point of curiosity. Is it one of his 21 
clients or is it someone else? Because if it is someone else, to me, it just has a different feel. Yeah, I I, I agree. I mean, it, it does. It would have a different feel for me, too, if it was somebody outside of that box of where you just go, whoa, wait, this person's, uh, you know, like you said, they're out, they're in it for justice. Uh, that would be a little bit more. That of type a, of justice. Yeah, right. Just to, you get civil justice. Yes, right. You that get type criminal of justice. justice. Yes, that but type to, of to justice. But to only focus on right. criminal when the civil justice train is already rolling. Right. That to me, it it, it obviously feels different. Yeah, the whole thing feels different now that there's a criminal case. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it, it kind of takes like you know the 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 selfish aspect out of it to where you're like, are they doing this for themselves or what? So that's where it would you know carry a little bit more weight. I mean, what are the positives for Watson? Right. Like with this, I mean, you know, I know they say they welcome this type of thing, but like ultimately, why? What, what does it really help them with the, the, as far as, you know, his defense here with Rusty Harden? If they are convinced that he did nothing wrong, and that's what Watson has said repeatedly from the get go. And there's been no opportunity to prove any of these allegations other than the back and forth in the court of public opinion that ultimately means nothing from Rusty Harden's perspective. This is how you talk this is what you say when you're trying to convince people your client is innocent we welcome the investigation and we will fully cooperate to the extent that there is still an ongoing effort to score points in the court of public opinion and surely there is that's what you have to say now how cooperative will they really be we'll see and if they're not cooperative it's not like somebody from the houston police department or maybe they will i don't know i don't know anything about the inner workings of the hpd yeah but Let's say they're not all that cooperative. Are they going to leak to somebody? Well, you know, they said they were going to be cooperative, but they're really not cooperative. So yeah. the, 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 the bottom line is this thing gets more complicated as time passes, not less complicated. And it's something that the NFL at some point is going to have to deal with. And, you know, Roger Goodell had a press conference last week in connection with the expansion of the regular season to 17 games. And, look, that process – it's there's only so many people who can make their way through to ask a question. Nobody asked any questions about Deshaun Watson, and I don't know what, what he would have said anyway, but the chances of him not being asked about Deshaun Watson in the run-up to the draft, right? There, there's going to be other opportunities, and there's going to be more and more questions. I sent an email to the league on Saturday saying, do you have an updated comment now that there's a criminal case? Nothing. Sent it again yesterday. Nothing. Going to send it again after the show today. At some point, they have to say something because the filing of the criminal case changes things. And there's 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 a, a an issue that the NFL is going to have to deal with unless this somehow gets wrapped up and resolved before the start of training camp. This is something the NFL is going to have to deal with, Chris. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, the the Houston Texans are going to have to deal with it. I mean, I, I mean, if you're the Houston Texans at this point, I think you got to start like thinking about arrangements for life after Deshaun or wherever that may. Go. I mean, whatever it is. I mean, uh, to me, like, I just I feel like it's over. It's over no matter what now in Houston with, with Deshaun Watson. I don't know. That's the way I feel. I just feel like even if, OK, whatever, this whole situation gets figured out, I can't imagine these two coming together and being like, all right, let's wipe it all, you know, under the bridge here and let's go back to the way things were like it, the, to me. It's it's got to be to that point a little bit in Houston where you got to start thinking of like, all right, life after Deshaun. He's not going to be here. We have no idea where this whole the civil complaints or the criminal charges or anything are going to go either way. Yeah, I would think he's going to get suspended at some point, and this isn't going to make things any, you know, rosier or anything like that with the rocky relationship to begin with. So that's where I look at it and just go, it, it's over, and they need to start making plans, you know, otherwise to, to move forward with their future. Strangest possible outcome yeah. to this would be Watson realizes he's destined for the commissioner exempt list, so he shows up and reports to the Texans this year and they pay him $10 million to not play yeah. in 2021. That would be the strangest possible outcome. And that may be the only way he gets paid by anyone this year at a time when he's going to need the well, resources to pay for his lawyer and to maybe resolve these cases through settlement. So that that's, that's what's crazy. That's what's hovering over this. The possibility that the team he has no interest in playing for may end up paying him to not play in 2021, I I still think there's a, a sentiment out there that he, he he that this is like gonna go away in the NFL. I, I'm telling you, I know I don't either, Mike. I'm just telling you that 
There is there is a sentiment of people out there that have, I think, a little bit just go, wait, what's really going to happen as like questions you brought up? Like he's not going to jail for any of the things we've seen so far. You can't do that. So I think there's a little bit of that. And I also think there's a little bit of thought of a lack of a better way to say this. Is this just is some young horny dude? All right. With a fetish. All right. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah. again, I don't look at it that way either. Obviously, it's more serious, but I, I've I've heard that type of talk. And yeah, well, but that talk's little. misinformed. But I, that talk's I hear misinformed. You. I know. Th I know this is, is a serious matter right. with 21 lawsuits filed, a criminal complaint filed. It's not going away quickly. And anyone who thinks it is, is grossly misinformed. This is hanging around. And every time Watson's camp thinks they found a silver bullet, to some respect, it ends up being a boomerang. This is not a maze that he's going to get out of easily. And the sooner he accepts it, the sooner he lays the foundation to maybe somehow find an appropriate resolution right. before training camp opens. Although I think with each passing day, that becomes more and more difficult to accomplish. So anyone out there that thinks this is just going to be gone, it's not. It's I, I, I would bet the over on the amount of time that this is going to continue to hover for Deshaun Watson, for the NFL, for the Texans, and for the individuals who are seeking justice, whether in the civil system or the criminal system. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.